Hey guys, Jengar here. Welcome to today's realistic review in which we are taking a look at the American F84F Thunderstreak at 8.7 battle rating. This plane sits in the attacker line, has the designation of a fighter, but they put it in the attacker line. This is kind of debatable. I have uh, some of my squadron mates who uh, have not unlocked much of the um, attacker line. <laughs> And they uh, they can now not reach the uh, thunder streak uh, as they want to, <laughs> which was kind of hilarious, I must say. But um, yeah, that uh, that is uh, I guess a little bit their own fault. But also, of course, you can question why this plane is not uh, underneath the uh, the under the other thunder jets. And uh, that's an answer I cannot give them. This is a fighter, and it has ground attacking options, and it was used as an attacker later on, but. Um, yeah, uh, I mean, I would still f use it as a fighter because uh, it's well suited for that role. W of course, it has its downsides. It still has the same performance issues as the Thunder Jets have. Uh, loses a lot of speed in big maneuvers. They um, don't turn very well and they don't accelerate fantastically. And this plane has an extra bonus to that. Now, it sits at 8.7 battle rating which is really uh, right in smack bang uh, in the good beginning of the missile age. All your contemporaries have missiles and you don't get any missiles on this plane. So that is very unfortunate as we almost get crashed to death by that uh, American Harry over there, but okay, <laughs> we survived. But th this plane has no missiles and it's in the missile age. It, get all, it gets constant up tiers as well to 9.7 very regular i would say 60 70 percent of the matches are towards 9.3 9.7 battle rating and uh, i mean between 8.0 and 9.0 is regular it's just constant mix 17s and stuff like that so you have your opponents cut out for you there and it is not an easy plane to fly the thunder streak it has a little bit of a performance boost compared to the uh, thunder jets because of the uh, swept wing design which is uh, makes uh, the plane a little bit smooth smoother in all the, the uh, departments acceleration a little bit better energy retention and stuff like that but it's minute it is not huge differences the um, the acceleration for example is still not very much above average but anyway the speeds in this plane maximum speed at sea level is a thousand ninety three kilometers an hour at 4,500 meters, still go up to 842, and at 6,500 meters, still go up to 740. Now these speeds are decent, but they are not spectacular at an 8.7 battle rating. You face a lot of planes that can match this. Top speed in a dive in this plane is 1,129 kilometers an hour before she redlines, and 1,160 before she rips apart. And that uh, is difficult to attain because I dove down from 9,000 and from 11,000 meters and you cannot reach the rip speed because as the plane gets fast, he doesn't want to accelerate uh, onwards anymore. She just starts to slow down in the acceleration and you will reach about 1150, 1160, depending on where you're at. Maybe you have to go from 15,000 meters. Maybe you will reach the, the rip speed then, but I couldn't reach it from 11K. So yeah, there is that. Uh, stall speed in the plane is 100 kilometers an hour, and um, which is actually decent, quite good. Uh, these speeds are an indicated airspeed. Uh, before we go on to the firepower in the Thunder Streak, which is quite... Uh, regular you know normal in for what americans run with it has six 12.7 m3 browning machine guns with 300 rounds per gun uh, this is basically your regular standard setup but it's still uh, 650 cals are good firepower ammo loads uh, very good 300 rounds it's all right although the m3s run out a little quicker but it's still a, a good at least let's say it also has bombs or rocket options. You have no missiles and you do not have any combos between bombs and rockets. So it's either rockets or bombs 
and you do not have a missile option at seven uh, at eight point seven battle rating. I was almost confused with the seven seven. But yeah, yeah, that's the G. That's not the F. <laughs> anyway. Uh, the acceleration in this plane, as I said, it has the swept wing design, but it doesn't go away from the average acceleration of the Thunder Jets. This plane is no exception. It accelerates slowly in a straight line as well. And uh, it gets, for example, the MiG-15, the MiG-17. They just out accelerate the hell, of you and, uh, the hell out of you and they just run away from you initially. And uh, it takes a long time and before you can catch up, it, it, you, you cross the map five times. It is uh, very difficult. And the, they are much better in, uh, in the turn rate, much better elevate control as you see in this duel here against this MiG-17AS. And uh, I'm gonna need an ally here in the end, as you will see. Now, the energy retention in this plane is only good in one uh, department, and that is the horizontal department. In the vertical it is decent, but you do have to be careful with big maneuvers in the vertical because this plane does lose lose a lot of speed in big maneuvers and also in the vertical. Uh, but in the horizontal the energy retention in the thunder streak is excellent. And you hold your speed very nicely for a very long time. And thus you often catch up or run away from people in the long run. But initially, if you still have to catch speed, this plane gets caught by enemy planes all the time because of its average acceleration. And this is, uh, well, it can be a problem towards your survivability. But you have to work and position yourself with this in mind. Otherwise, you will die quick deaths in the Thunder Streak, especially since many of your opponents, many planes like the G91, have four missiles. <laughs> Not even one or two. Uh, one is, is that no plane has one, but uh, you know what I mean. Four missiles is no exception at 8.7. So, yeah, it, it can be very frustrating in the Thunder Streak. Uh, now, the turn time is bad. Uh, below average with flaps, uh, but the flaps uh, make her slow down even more. And in those turns, you lose speed uh, uh, already quite a bit. And uh, it's not good. Flaps rip off at uh, 6.10 which is quite decent, but it, I mean 610, if with a speed of 1093 in a straight line. Uh, flap usage is really uh, secluded to the maneuvers and to the moments where you are dogfighting, but you also got to stay aware of your speed and you don't want to lose too much speed and the flaps do make you lose more speed. So yeah, use them with care and don't turn. <laughs> Roll rate is, is decent to good. Um, she rolls nicely, but it's, it's nothing spectacular. Nothing spectacular. It, it's functional, but uh, I've seen uh, planes uh, do a lot better at it. This really, and, and I mean, uh, combined with these things, the turn time and the roll rate, you get an average maneuverability. Um, with overheating, that is bad. This plane overheats in no time and runs into the amber very quickly. It needs basically a 98% engine run when you get into yellow and uh, make sure it cools off a little bit. And then in fights you run 100% engine. But um, yeah, it's, it's not wise to run 100% uh, a lot in the beginning because you overheat and then you will get into the fights and you got to be careful there. You need all your performance there. Durability in the plane is, is not great to be honest. It doesn't fly well with damage. Now it doesn't fall apart, uh, it doesn't have any problems with wing rips and stuff like that. It seems a sturdy plane with, with, uh, with uh, the wing setup and stuff is nice. I love, I love the looks of this plane, that's, but that's another matter. It, uh, it looks fantastic and uh, it looks very lethal. And uh, I did well in it, I got a 3 to 1 kill death ratio in it. Despite the, um, the missile age and the... Uh, the problem so it does have something to speak for it but you got to use this plane in a boom and zoom and boom and run capacity and in that capacity you have to be disciplined and you have to be strict the moments i died were often uh, the careless moments where you start to dogfight somebody you get slow and it's difficult to get out of that situation because of its average acceleration 
and um, the bad turn time, you really are just relying on roll rate, but the roll rate isn't spectacular, it is just decent to good. And well, you, it gives you precious little to work with in the 8.7, 9.7 bracket where you will spend most of your time. No missiles, um, six 50 cals that are good, but yeah, you get a lot of hits and crits as well. And not finishing the plane off immediately. Uh, a lot of planes are sturdier than you. You don't have the acceleration. Well, it's just, it's a problem. Uh, it's a plane with problems, let's say. But if you use it in the strict role of boom and zooming, boom and running, pick your targets, don't get into the middle of a lot of fighters and be the plane that comes in from the fringes and helps allies out. Then you are good. If you want to use it for ground pounding, sure, you can. There's, there's a, uh, quite a few ground pounding options there. I, I, I can see a, uh, a ground RB role for this plane as well. Uh, but um, in air RB, this plane is difficult to, uh, to fly. Um, and it, it, it's going to be um, interesting to see what you guys think. I, uh, I think it, uh, it would not uh, do bad at, a, at an 8.0 battle rating. I, d I don't think it would be out of order there or it would be overpowered there. I think 8.7 is a bit out there for this plane. Do let me know uh, what you think. If you think this plane is just fine at 8.7, then that's of course also an opinion. <laughs> Absolutely. I'll see you in the conclusion, guys. Hey guys, so here we are after the match. The Thunder Streak is a very interesting plane. It looks fantastic, it looks absolutely lethal, and you think this is a big upgrade from the Thunder Jet, just from looks and feel alone, but it's not. It's just minute, uh, subtle differences, upgrades to speed a little bit, to, um, to the performance, to acceleration, maybe slightly better, and the energy retention as well, but all in all, this is... Close to Thunder Jet performance at 8.7 battle rating with the average acceleration difficult to get out of situations if you're slow, difficult to accelerate away, it takes a long time to get to top speed and to, uh, to catch people or to escape from people. So you have problems there, especially since many of your opponents have missiles, two to four missiles and you don't. And once you move, you lose a lot of speed. It bleeds speeds and turns and in the vertical, which is not too great especially if you take it up in steep vertical maneuvers um, it has turn rate that is bad and below average with flaps and overheats badly it needs a, a good management with that and it doesn't take damage too well all these downsides force you into a boom and zoom boom and run roll very disciplined if you do that, you can compete with the plane, you can get steady performances. I got a lot of one kill, two kill matches because you need so much patience. You don't have the missiles to make uh, decisive uh, victories, decisive kills very quickly. Of course, you have the 650 kills, but that can be hit and miss as well with crits and hits here and there, not finishing planes off. So you get a lot of assists as well in this plane. Overall, guys, I, uh, I would say try it out if you want to try it, but don't expect too much from this plane. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button, become part of this community. If you are already a subscriber, don't forget to like the video, do leave me a comment. And if you really feel like helping out today, make sure to share the video with your friends and let them know about the channel.